thing we need to do is remove the negative battery cable from the battery. Next thing we need to do is to remove this panel. Is to set the right parking here. brake. And then we want to remove the negative battery cable from the battery. Next thing we want to do is to remove this little bezel around the ignition switch. I'm using a panel remover. Get right in there. There it is. Next thing we want to do, put the key in the ignition, unlock it, and move our shifter all the way down to the lowest position. Next thing we need to do is to remove these end panels on the dash. There's one on the left, one on the right. We'll use our panel remover, pop that off, and then underneath there you will see a seven millimeter screw right there and we need to remove that now. Next thing we need to do is to remove these two screws right above the instrument cluster. You can use a small stubby Phillips to do that. They are seven millimeter also, if you want to use a socket on those. Next thing we need to do is to remove this little panel down here. Disconnect that light. Now underneath that panel, you'll see a couple of seven millimeter screws. One right here. And one right here. We need to remove those now. After we get those screws out, we can just pop this panel off. And then we have this switch right here. And then unplug that. We're going to remove that panel. All right, now that we got all our screws off, we want to get this trim panel off right now. So we're going to start from this right side, and we're going to pull back. Now we're going to go on the other side and uh, pull the trim panel back there. All right, now we can pull our panel out here. More clips. Get it out here like this. Now we can disconnect our hazard switch. Little button right there. Push in with a screwdriver. And we should be able to remove that panel. Well, that's a big one, huh? Gonna size it out all the way across the dash. Now, if you're Ignition key is stuck and doesn't want to move. Try this. Try tapping like this. In a lot of cases, you'll get it to free up and then turn. Now, once you get it to turn, you want to put the key in the run position like that. Now you'll need a pick, doesn't have to be too long, get right in here 
oh, about, I don't know, inch and a quarter in. You'll feel a button. You'll have to fish around for it. There it is. There is the ignition lock cylinder. Now, on this particular vehicle, the security system is built right into the lock cylinder. There is no resistor information at all in the key. So if you replace your lock cylinder, the best way would be to recode that new one to your old key. Now once you do that, put your new lock cylinder in. Now what you want to do is put the negative battery cable back on the battery, turn the key over to run and just a little bit past run and let go and then you'll notice that the security light will start flashing. What it's doing is the computer is relearning the information from the new lock cylinder and that's going to take about 10 minutes to relearn and once and once it relearns you'll be able to start your car no problem so that's all there is to replacing a ignition lock cylinder on your Chevy Impala